Come on in. Welcome to Healing School again today, where you can expect a miracle and something good is going to happen to you. Well, if you've watched some of the other daily times we've shared around the Word of God, you know that we've been talking about the fact that God's will is always good, that His nature is good, and that Jesus of Nazareth is the epitome, the very expression of the will of God. He said, He that has seen me has seen the Father. That the works I do, it's my Father in me that doeth the works. That I came not to do my own will, but the will of him that sent me. And he said, I do only what I see my Father do. I say only what I hear my Father say. He might as well have said, To see me is to see God in action. And we know from the scripture, that once a leper came to him and said, Lord, I know you can heal me if you will. He said, I will. And since Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever, then the will of God doesn't change because he doesn't change. And he is his will. His will is him. And therefore, since his will doesn't change, he doesn't change. Since he doesn't change, his will doesn't change, and I'm so glad that God is a good God, and He's ready, willing, able, and right now wants to do good things in your life. So much so that let's read about what Jesus did once again from a scripture that we used in a previous session, Acts 10, 38. It says, How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. That means God willed him to do it because he anointed and empowered him to do it. God put his spirit upon him to accomplish it, which means that the Holy Spirit is the healing spirit, and he's still going about doing the good work of healing for all that are oppressed of the devil. So God, who is a good God, clearly calls healing good and says it's good, that all are healed. So, what we want to establish today is to continue along the line of developing faith in God's goodness. Therefore, we can have great confidence that when we approach Him, we are not going to get something other than His good plan for our life. And when we can establish that it is God's will to heal all people everywhere, every time, when we can get that settled in our heart, then we can launch with confidence no matter what the symptoms are, no matter what the doctor's report is, no matter what the situation is, we can launch with faith to our future. In fact, I'm thinking right now of Psalm 2711, which says, where David said, I had almost fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. I am so glad that David was able to say, I will not die, but live and declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. So evidently, for David to be saved from death, for David to be rescued from disease, from David to be delivered from, from defeat at, at the hand of his enemies, David saw his taking out of Goliath a good thing. David realized that his sustenance in life was a good thing, so much so that this is what he wrote about God. David's words reveal what God revealed to King David, that surely goodness and mercy would follow him all the days of his life. I want you to read with me David's words in Psalm 67, where it says in verse 1, God, be merciful to us and bless us. Cause his face to shine upon us, Selah. Think about that. Verse 2, that thy way may be known upon the earth, that your saving health will be known among all nations. Now what I want you to do is put together what King David saw. He said that your way may be known on earth, your saving health among all nations. What I want you to see is God's saving health to everyone in every nation known on the earth is the way of God. So we've established that healing is the will of God. Now we've established that healing is the way of God. Did you know Psalm 107 Verse 20 says he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from the destructions that they even brought upon themselves. So now we see healing is God's will. Healing is God's way. 
It is one of His ways, and healing is God's Word. He will send the Word of healing. His way is for you to be healed. His will is for you to be healed. To everyone in all nations right now, why? Because He's good, and He's always the same. So I want to finish our healing school today by firming that up with a passage of Scripture that David also wrote in Psalm 103. He said, Bless the Lord, O my soul. All that's within me, bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Forget not one of all of His benefits. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities. Who healeth all thy diseases. Who redeemeth thy life from destruction. Who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercy. And listen, satisfies your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord executes righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed, for he made known his ways to Moses and his acts to the children of Israel. We know that God has acted in times past and healed people here or there. But once we realize that healing is not just one of God's acts, but healing is tantamount to the nature of His way of doing things. That what God wants to do today is to deliver everyone, everywhere, from everything, in any nation. He's no respecter of persons. And His benefits are the forgiving of all of your iniquities and sins. His benefits are the healing of all your diseases. So today He wants to satisfy your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. He's going to execute righteousness for all that are oppressed today. No wonder God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and power who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. This God who never changes, this Jesus who is the same, is still going about doing his work, his will, his word, and his way in every nation, and he wants to do it in your life today. Won't you believe that he's that good to you? Won't you come to God in confidence that no matter if you brought the destruction even on yourself, won't you allow his word today to come to you? Faith comes by hearing, hearing by the Word of God. And as you will hear me say many times in this healing school, there was a Roman centurion that said, I'm not worthy, you should come under my roof, speak the Word only, my servant will be healed. Jesus said, whoa, that is great faith. Do you have that kind of faith today? Even with just a little bit of faith, Jesus will respond. Do you have faith that I can speak the Word of healing? It could come under your roof today and that God is so good, that word today that you believe and act and receive will heal you from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Well, I believe it. We've confirmed it from the word of God day after day. This is your daily healing school. It's time for you to rise, operate in faith, believe you receive the goodness of God, be restored and be healed today in the mighty name of God of Jesus from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet I send the name of Jesus I release God's armed forces the angels of God and may the very power of God in sending his benefits of healing to you today manifest wherever you are the oppression of your enemy bows its knee and Jesus King of Kings promises he will be good to thee. Well, we love you. Claim it today. Say, I'm healed. Call those things to be not as though they were. This is your day of daily healing. Take your medicine, rise, and be whole today. We'll see you tomorrow.